Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you like to start your day? Um, yum, 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 yum. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Had myself at Tim Hortons. DQ, I love you. How are you, DQ? The, um, uh, who else we got there? I guess I should put my glasses on. I should stop pretending like I can see because I'm as blind as a bat when it comes to reading. And if I put these spectacles on, make a spectacle of myself, there I is. Now I can see myself. I can see clearly now. Marsha Pitt, thank you so much for sending me that information. Cat Wright White, good morning, sunshine. Peggy Lady Sikowski, good morning. It is a good morning. It is a Sunday morning. And, uh... I'm with my big family here, so uh, that makes it a super-duper awesome morning right there, always being with my family. Glenn Cowie says, uh, uh, hello, good morning, Dave, family, and everyone. Liked, shared, posted, copied the link. And my son, DQ, says, good morning. It is a good morning. Every morning I get to say good morning to my son, DQ. I love you. And my grandson, DQ, I love you. Imagine I got D two DQs back in my life right now. How lucky a person could I be? Especially with uh, that little DQ. He is the world's cutest baby ever. I'm sorry if you've got a little one right now, but he is definitely one of the uh, world's cutest babies. Um... I'll have to put more pictures up so that you folks can see and so you guys can uh, agree with me. Pardon me one second while I just uh, put a, just a couple of um, things here. Whoop, come on. Uh, on my, I'm just sharing it out. I'm sharing. Gord, how are you in Paprika? Douglas is watching. Hey, Douglas. Hey, DQ. I love you. It's your papa, the nut bar. Rennie Wagner liked and shared. Hey, Rennie. Uh, Rennie knows I'm a little bit slow in the head, that's for sure. Tina Mark, uh, Markley says, hello, blue eyes and family and friends. Hello, Tina, how are you this morning? Uh, you got your coffee going yet this morning? And uh, we're just uh, hitting uh, posted on a couple of sites out there. Might as well get it out there to a few people. Haley says, like and share. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Can't wait till you get your package. Can't wait till everybody gets. Cat says, near 50 here today, but big storm hitting next couple of days. I wonder if that's same there. Lorraine is there, says, good morning, Dave and Freedom Family. And let's see, did I miss anybody? I think I got, if I, if it skipped your comment because it's skipping too fast, just comment again. Sharon Butner says, morning, Dave. Nice sunshine. Yes. Tracy Joel says, uh, good morning, Dave and freedom family. Uh, hey, you know what? I'm a little disappointed, folks. A little disappointed. See this? It says win. It says roll up the rim to win. I'll forgive you, says Rene. I hear you. I'll have to put something special in there so that uh, I get some forgiveness. I'll have to figure something out. But I'm so disappointed because roll up the rim to win. And I rolled the the uh, rolled up the rim app today to see if I could win something. And I got a coffee. A coffee. I was hoping it was going to say a new prime minister. <laughs> Roll up the wind and uh, give me a new prime minister. That would make my morning. That would make my Sunday morning. I'd be so happy. I'd be happier than a Dave McKenzie in a donut shop. Mm. Ah, iced coffee. I should have got a shot of espresso in this. And uh, so anyways, folks, you're probably wondering... What I was saying to you when I, uh, in the things there. Hey, there's Frenchie. Good morning, my friend Frenchie. You know what? I was going to put a whole bunch of extra magazines in your parcel, and I don't think I did. I think I gave you, um, um, just, uh, four or five or, or something like that. I should put 10 or 20 in there to get them up to marathon, but don't give away the special one. There's a special one there for you. 
And uh, Berdine says, hey, hey, wonderful, uh, great, blessed day to everyone. And Kat says, if I were only that easy, wouldn't that be nice? Just roll up the rim to win. And it says, you got a new prime minister. And you check the papers, and here you see that the turd stepped down. And so did his junior turd step down. And somebody stepped up because they thought they could save the party, but they can't. Uh, Tina says, uh, you forgot how to, uh, drive a big truck in your, for you bet you, I, I have to be retrained. Marsha Pitt says, wow, out of 27 rolls, I've only won three times. I'm not impressed with this year's roll up. No kidding. I rolled up, uh, all these other ones and on the trip when, uh, Roberto, Robert and I, uh, were on the trip, uh, Jeez, that almost looked like Robert for a second going by. Say Robert, and it looked like him going by in a vehicle. Hey, Courtney. And on the trip, I was rolling up the rim continually, a couple of times, especially the espressos to keep going. And um, nothing, not a sausage. Frenchie says, did you hear any more about Walter? How is his dad doing? Uh, both their dads are doing very poorly, very poorly indeed. Shannon Bullen says, morning, it's unfortunate. Uh, and you know what? Uh, when you think his uh, parents are only like uh, my age, <laughs> that's the scary thing. I think, uh, well, I think his mom's 67, I think, and I'm um, 66 this year. And Shannon Bullen says, morning. Good morning, Shannon. So I did that. I got to confess that... Um, on the uh, trip, like, uh, to, uh, I stayed awake both directions. You know, I like, when I ride shotgun, when I was riding shotgun, I like to be awake for the driver. I like to, uh, I like the driver to see that I'm riding shotgun. I'm going to help out if there's a deer comes out or something like that. And on the way back, as you know, I was doing some driving, see if I could still drive any distance or not and so uh we'd stop by tim hortons and i get me one of those um ice caps i like and i get a shot of espresso put in let me tell you at 11 o'clock at night maybe it was 10 30 at night in, in musaman i got an ice cap with two shots of espresso uh glenn says um and a lot, uh, a lot of the bigger prizes are not real prizes. Apparently, they are mistakes. Oh, no! And Shannon says, makes it easier for the drivers to stay awake, too. It sure does. I mean, if a person's riding shotgun, they should ride shotgun, right? Patty says, good morning, Dave. Like and share. Thank you. And Kat says, send prayers for Walter's family. Absolutely. So, in any case, I'll tell you, a couple of shots of espresso in an ice cap... Boy, does that put a little bounce in your step. That uh, that puts starch in my panties. And um, uh, Remington Steel. I mentioned starch in panties. And here comes my favorite Jeff, Remington Steel. I think he is my favorite Jeff. Should I tell Jeff Stone that? You know what? I think he still my I, Remington Steel is my favorite Jeff. He's a tall drink of water. He's a good man. He's a, he's a great helper for Camp Hope and the people. Everybody who knows Jeff loves him. You know how you get people that say terrible things about people, especially me. You should have heard the BS flying around Calgary when I hadn't been there for six months. There were stories. You should see there was little mouthpieces out there shooting their mouth out saying, you know why you haven't seen Dave around uh, for um, uh, six months? It's because he ran off with an 18-year-old girl, got kicked out of his house, and Canadian Trucking Magazine went down the tubes. It no longer exists. And I, and the person telling me this, I looked at him and said, haven't you been on my live videos? And guess what? There's magazines in the restaurant in the front of this place. I know, but we heard that and we thought, oh no. I said, when you hear that, you should pick up a phone or send me a message and say this person saying this or this person saying yes so I can put a hammer down on it immediately but uh, for um, Remington Steel for that Jeff all I've ever heard is that it's a blessing that he's on this earth um, and uh, 
Where are we? Remington Steel says, hey, my brother, Courtney, all the coffee I make in my truck is Cuban Express coffee. Oh, that'll keep you going. Shannon says, yep, there sure was unbelievable. Wasn't there, Shannon? And uh, and Craig says, morning, Dave. And uh, Haley says, I read a couple of people had one, a $10,000 American Express. Ooh, let me see this. Uh, American Express. Where did where did that go? American Express card. And they were told it was an error. Oh, I'd like to get hear that. The system glitched. Uh, where did Marcia says system glitched and gave out ten thousand dollar prizes. Why didn't I get one of those glitches? They were only paying fifty dollars to the false winners. Oh, no. You know what? They could take them to court, though. Craig says, where are you going this morning? Crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm just uh, looking at the roads. Let me pull off a bit more here. And let me put on my hazard lights here. I'm going to show people the road. But just give me a second here. Now, I'm also going to put it in reverse. People saying, why am I putting it in reverse? Here's a tip. I got my hazard lights and I got it in reverse, which puts my rear lights on. So people coming up behind me sees that. And not only do you got the hazard lights on, you got the rear lights on for those crazy textures. Rennie says, wow, crazy how people like start rumors. Oh, it was crazy. Nice and sunny this morning. Okay, so look at this. These are what my roads look like this morning, folks. They uh, uh, probably look the same at Jeff's place, Remington Steel. And for you, Remington Steel, this morning, I just want to say this. Dusty old farmer out working your field, hanging over the old tractor wheel. Sun beating down turns the red paint to orange with dusty old patches of steel. There's no farmer songs on this old truck radio, just truckers and cowboys and that. This is my way, Jeff, of saying thanks for the meal and hope there's no shortage of rain. Straw hats and old dirty hanky mopping a face like a field. Thanks for the meal. Here's a song that is real from a kid from Oak Bank to Jeff Remington Steel. <laughs> uh, Shannon says we got snow again uh, last night. And uh, Craig says, on my way to go do laundry. Let's go. I should meet you for laundry and give you a hand. I've been doing laundry for six months. Why is it when I come on, you sing? Just to drive you crazy, Craig. I hope Remington Steel was still on because that song was dedicated to the great Remington Steel. Without farmers like that. Oh, Frenchie says, good singing, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much especially first thing in the morning, and I haven't lubricated my throat very uh, completely with, uh, I'm putting the seatbelt under here just because I try to show the Canadian Trucking Magazine thing. Um, Debbie says, good morning, Dave. Good morning. Let's roll up the win to win. You know what? If they can have a glitch and have $10,000 uh, American Express cards that don't exist, why can't they roll up the rim and have new prime minister? Roll up the wind and have a new prime minister. And for all our good friends and our cousins and our brothers and sisters, the United States of America, a new presidente. That's what you need there is a new president. We both need new leadership. We both need, let's put it this way, we both need new governments, don't we? And Gord says, I heard Craig Camp Hope is... Some bringing in her doctor to help with ailments. Oh, uh, I don't know. I can't say. Shannon Bowen says, iced coffee, uh, not a cap. I know. I got iced coffee this morning. Uh, and um, Courtney is saying, well, Dave, next time I see you, we'll make the coffee two cups. Oh, and it'll make me last 24 hours. I hear you. So anyways, I was uh, saying there's a big tip I wanted to give people. A huge tip I want to give people right now for tomorrow, for the next week or so. Be careful. Be really careful. Because if you are in a time zone where you've sprung ahead, 
If you're a truck driver and you've lost this hour of sleep, you think it's nothing because, hey, we're truck drivers. We barely get any sleep at all. So you don't think it's going to bother you. It does. It really does. Shannon says, yes, they are. And I uh, surely want to talk with her. Uh, wait, I, I surely want to do a talk with her. Shannon Bowen, I wonder what I was talking about. I can't remember. So, oh, oh, the herb person, I think she's talking about. And he wants, and she wants to talk to her. Well, she's uh, here in Winnipeg at Camp Hope. So, um, it is a true fact. It's true statistics that after we spring ahead, just even one hour, the accident rates are higher on the highways. The workplace accidents are higher, and especially on the first Monday. It is a, it's a fact. It's a fact, Jack. Statistics have showed an increase in accidents, both um, industrial and automobile. Now, it's hard to judge uh, home accidents because people can stub their toe or burn their hand, and it's not reported. But workplace accidents are reported with the WCB, the Workers' Compensation Boards, and motor vehicle accidents with insurance agencies. So they know, they know for a fact, Jack, that there are more accidents that happen during this time, during this springing ahead. I have a story for you. Almost lost a wheel uh, off my personal vehicle. Oh, no. And hard to... Attack, uh, yes, always up to. You're absolutely right, Cat. Carlos says, good morning. Gord says, in U.S., Love's gas stations have everything. Yes, they do. I love Love's. Did I tell you, folks, that I met Tom Love? That Tom Love from Love's, uh, him and I and his beautiful wife went out. And this is years ago. This is probably 10 years ago that uh, we went out to... Um, uh, Cracker Barrel for um, uh, breakfast together after the uh, great, uh, sorry, after the Mid American Truck Show. It was such an honor that Tom and his wife said to me, they were so busy at the Love's booth there, and uh, they were already big. They And they were getting bigger, not as big as they are right now. Uh, bless his heart and rest in peace, Tom. But what a fantastic gentleman. He, he asked me if I would join him for, um, for breakfast, and I said yes. And uh, we went out to the Cracker Barrel right there by the uh, Mid-American Truck Show in Louisville, Kentucky. And I sat right beside John. John? Where did John come from? From Tom. And uh, uh, I, I thought it was going to be sort of an intimate breakfast, but of course... There was about uh, 30 of his executives and people like that that were also there. I was the only media person there, Canadian Trucking Magazine. I was the only Canadian there. And I sat there and he introduced me to them all. And uh, he'd asked me to bring copies of the magazine and uh, gave everybody copies of the magazine. And he says, I want to be in this magazine. I want to be in Canadian Trucking Magazine. He says, uh, I like everything about it and everything and blah, blah, blah. And his wife did too. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to have loves in the magazine. That is fantastic. And um, the uh, uh, we're about to have a love affair with loves. But I, I was just so taken back by what a, what a good, wholesome, awesome person he was and stuff like that. And um, the... Uh, we did have loves in the magazine, if people noticed at that time. And I did say how much I loved loves. But uh, Flying J came in and Flying J made a sort of better offer of giving um, gift cards to our drivers. Like our, not our drivers, but our uh, people that uh, read Canadian Trucking Magazine and our social media. We just got into uh, Facebook. Uh, for the first couple of years because Facebook uh, Live had not been around before that. And uh, so uh, uh, Pilot Flying J was offering a lot better uh, deals for me. And Flying J was across Canada. And when I traveled across Canada delivering the magazines in my F-250, Flying J was willing to fuel up 
my F-250 right across Canada and put the magazines there. And uh, so I, I went flying J-Way. So I, I was sorry because I really liked Tom. There were no loves in, uh, in Canada at the time. And uh, when I was doing the States, the Texas run, I was doing it in a big truck for whoever the advertiser was at the time. And uh, they were all using Pilot Flying J. They weren't using um, uh, uh, the Loves for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's so much. I know people that are using Loves and stuff like that. And uh, in the, uh, there are some newer Flying Js that are nice. But the majority of the loves, the showers are much nicer. The towels are much nicer. The facilities are a lot nicer. It's like um, it's like the Flying J is the poor man's loves in a lot of places. A lot of the franchise owners haven't done much to it. But anyways, that got on to Tom Love. And I'm sorry about Craig. Craig uh, lost a wheel on his car. There's a story. I'm going to have to meet Craig for coffee and hear that story because... Uh, Poor uh, Craig, I could just see him now. He'd be sitting in his car saying, You took a fine time to leave me loose wheel. 60 mile an hour on the perimeter I go. Off goes my tire chasing some hoe. You took a bad time to leave me loose wheel. Um, You know, Gord says the uh, closest loves is Fargo. Yeah, there isn't even... Well, no, no. There's a closer one now, Gord. There's one that's just past Pemina. Between Pemina and uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota, there is a Loves there. And uh, so that's located there. And it's a beautiful Loves. I think it's got a Taco uh, John's there and stuff like that. Hey, folks, if you get a chance, the Canadian Trucking Magazine... On our Canadian Trucking Magazine Facebook page, right at the top, you can click on there to get the uh, web edition of the magazine. Take another read of the web ma magazine today, especially if you're on a laptop or a computer where you can open it up nice and big. But uh, you can open it on your phone and take a look. Take another chance to read it. Look at everybody that's in there. Look at uh, what I've read about, uh, written about some things. Plus, I've read it. Glenn says, for anyone in Lake Station, Indiana, the pilot there is very, very nice and clean. Thank you. Yep, there's some real nice ones. Like, I got some favorites down in Texas, like that one that's by uh, uh, Fall Furious there, just before the valley. I stay there instead of the older Flying J down in Edinburgh, because I really like that Fall Furious. It only has three showers, but they are beautiful. The people are beautiful. It's very clean, very nice, very clean lot. A lot better than Edinburgh, for sure. Uh, Courtney Seller says there, uh, no, there the, uh, is one 40 miles south of the border at Dryden, Drayton. So it's Drayton where that one's located. Beautiful loves, a beautiful loves. And uh, I think, is it a Taco John that's there, Courtney? So the statistics are true, folks. The statistics are true that um, the uh, it it that the uh, next week you have to be very, very careful, very careful, um, because just because rolling back an hour. Cat says my birds are building a nest this morning. Hey, I got birds above my bedroom. And you know what? They've already got little birds. I can hear them chirping. Chip, 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 chip. Uh, you wouldn't think they'd have little birds till spring, but I can hear them. I can hear them in the morning in their nest. Uh, there's tons of them. Gord says, have you been to any Waffle Houses? Have I been to Waffle Houses? Have you seen the size of me, Gord? Of course I've been to Waffle Houses, a fat bastard like me. I've been to a lot of Waffle Houses in my day. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're not my favorite. They really aren't. Courtney says, Taco John's or Taco Time? One of them. Yep. And Kat says, my mom loved the birds. Yeah, they, uh, you know what? And they don't bother me, the uh, little chirpers. They really don't. Uh, uh, it's the sound of nature and stuff like that. And I hear them chirping and it's fine. So be a little more careful. Truckers out there. You are the pros. You have to drive for yourself 
and you got to drive for others because there will be people and they don't even realize that that hour makes a difference. And I've talked to people over the years and they say, well, I only sleep four hours a night or I wake up and go to sleep or blah, blah, blah. What difference is an hour going to make? It does. Uh, Robins are back, says Haley. I saw one last week and my husband saw one yesterday. The Rob, Rob, Robin goes Bob, Bob, Bobbing around for sure. The Rob, Rob, Robin goes Bob, Bob, Bobbing around. And uh, Shannon Bullen says shirts, question mark. Shirts. Did I say something about shirts? Weird. Weird or what? Um, what was I saying? She's throwing me off because now she's got me thinking in the morning and I'm incapable of thinking in the morning, especially when it's roll back the clock. No, it isn't. It's roll forward, forward the clock. It's spring ahead into spring. Imagine spring's coming. Oh, the snow's going to be gone, but then the wood ticks will be here. The spaghettis. No, my shirt. Shannon Bullen says shirts. No, my shirt. Shannon Bullen says my Shirt. Are you talking about your hoodies? Uh, Courtney Sutherland says, yes, Dave, you are. So let me take a little sip of this again. Now that Shannon's trying to completely confuse me. Mm. Terrific. And um, how are you all this morning? So far, I saw that a lot of you are great. Uh, a lot of you, it's sunshine. Everybody survive. It it was in code, LOL. Ah, it was in code. Yeah, the shirt, my shirt in code. I hear you. Um, the uh, My brain's not working in the code. I will get it and I'll go, ah, that's what she meant. Darn it. So um, uh, Gord says, uh, uh, no matter the time change, the cats want their food. I hear you and the dogs want to go out and pee. And I've got to go and pee. So it's Sunday, folks. Uh, and tomorrow's Monday. Remember to breathe. That's the big thing. Remember to breathe. A lot of people forget breathing. You don't think you could forget breathing because it's an involuntary action. But it's the way we breathe. We all have to learn to breathe. Especially when there are things happening above us and around us that we don't have control on. And as I said, the spring forward, the time change, this thing, it really affects us and we don't even realize it. Peggy says it's sunny here in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. And Gord Robert says, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. So everybody, please breathe. Take a chance to breathe. Take a chance to breathe it in like five seconds Hold it and then breathe it out four seconds and do that a few times. And Monday morning when you wake up, I want you to do that. I want you to wake up and say, am I happy I'm alive? No matter what the situation is, say you're happy that you're alive and go. <sighs> Great big breaths. Great big breaths like that. Breathe in the, 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 the oxygen, get it into your brain, get it into your blood and breathe it in and go, I am happy to be alive. And today I'm going to make Monday so good. Sunday will be jealous, even though I want you to have a great Sunday. Cliffy Halliburton is in the house and goes, uh, Mo Fassa, Mo, Mo Fassa. Uh, that must be uh, uh, Mufasa. Now, see, he's confusing me. I'm going to be one confused guy, Cliffy. I'm going to. I was going to bring you one of these, but now that you've confused me, I'm not going to. And Brenda says, "Square breathing." Is that what that's called? Is it called square breathing? Uh, some people call it meditation. Some people say just oxidizing your blood. Just getting the breathing, letting everything cool down. Because the worst thing... Oh, is that's from the uh, Lion King, says Patty. What uh, Cliffy said? Oh, so they showed it on the Lion King. That's so good. Cliffy says, uh, take deep breaths. Rula your ears. Say, Mula Fasa. LOL. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to watch the movie Lion King. I got to confess, I've never seen it. Um, Courtney Sullivan says, I'm going to sleep right through. 
all weekend is sleep this weekend. Don't deliver till 7 a.m. tomorrow. So been sleeping. You have yourself a great sleep, Courtney. A fantastic sleep. So as my good brother, who I love with all my heart and all my soul says, and Cliffy, I think about you uh, often. You and I are both going through a weird kind of thing with our bodies right now. Our bodies. Shake my body. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Cliffy's uh, body is a lot better shape than I. mine is. In. Yeah, well, mine's a shape. Mine's a round shape. His is built like an iron of steel. Because, of course, he's a superhero, you know. I remember Cliffy walked into a room one time and a guy pulled out a gun and says, I'm going to shoot you. And Cliffy says, no, no, don't shoot. The bullets will bounce off and hurt innocent civilians. <laughs> Ah, Kat says, hubby loved that movie. He's a Leo. I'm going to have to watch it. And uh, David says, uh, Golden Wolf says, whoa, and the last name. Now, there's a name to pronounce. Bregowski. Hi, buddy, watching from BC. If I screwed up your name, Dave, Dev, uh, David, uh, if you could take and um, and write it out phonetically, phonetics, um then I'll be able to uh, say it because then I'll know my syllables and I'll say your name right. Ask Brian Watowich. He'll tell you I've screwed up his name more times than I've screwed up my own, which is uh, pretty uh, often. So, yeah. So as my uh, brother Cliffy says from uh, and anybody watch The Lion King and anybody who knows your blood needs oxygen, your brain needs oxygen, just like your vehicles need fuel to fire on all cylinders. You need oxygen on all filter. And David says, uh, all's good. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, so, and sometimes our brains need coffee to fire on all cylinders, but please breathe. Pl okay. Uh, Bry oh, uh, Bryce Galski, Brzgowski, Brzgowski. And now was I closer? Brzgowski. There's a good name right there. That is a name that's got some tooth teeth in it. Bragowski. My name's Bragowski. That should be, you know, I could see Clint Eastwood using that in a movie because that's a powerful name. Bragowski, if I'm saying it right. Or Bragowski could be too. Um, so uh, let me know if I was close. But in any case, let's get some oxygen in there. Today... And definitely when you wake up tomorrow and all day tomorrow, and please be careful because as I say, the statistics don't lie. Uh, industrial accidents, car accidents are all going to be up. Hey, I got it. He said, I got it. Brygalski. And um, uh, thank you folks when you write it out phonetically for me in that because I have trouble reading. I mean, grade three was the four best years of my life. You know, I graduated all the way up to grade six. I remember, uh, I'm going to have a sip of this coffee. Um, Kat says, I think I just found a silver coin in my yard. Nice, nice hit. That's fantastic. It's, it's really good. And, um, the, um, I was going to say a joke and then I thought, no, I better not. It's a Sunday. I'm going to burn already. Cliffy says I did grade five twice. And you know why? Is he liked his grade five teacher? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. I mean, how do you get to spend two years with your grade five teacher? Just fail the first time. <laughs> LOL. I have a great day. Bless our truckers. Thank you, Cliffy. Blessings to you. Thank you for your service, Cliffy. All the service you've done, your continued service, and thank you for being my brother and my friend. And someday, Cliffy, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Just like you. Courtney says, e uh, everyone know Dave you have grade 12, you took <laughs> at grade 6 twice. You're right. That's what I say on my resume. I got grade 12. And they say, you do? I said, I got 12 grades. Well, I took grade 6 twice. Shannon says, you see my messages? Yes, I am. Remember about the shirt and stuff like that? And Cliffy says, ha ha, thanks, Dave. Talk soon, brother. Yes, we will. We'll have to do some coffee together. Because it looks like I'm be stuck in Winnipeg for a while. <coughs> Haley says, you say my name 
uh, wrong most of the time. It's pronounced Haley, uh, like Haley Berry. Oh, like Halley. Oh, sorry, I say it wrong all the time. Halle Berry. Thank you, Halley. I call her Haley all the time, and it's Halley. And how long we known each other? For crying out loud, I'm so bad. And yes, you thank truckers uh, talking about um, our good uh, brother uh, Cliffy there. <clears throat> so, in any case, in case of any... Yeah, I am seeing your uh, things this morning, Shannon. And uh, I did get the good word out to everybody and everyone again, please. Hey, Cliffy. Don't forget to go on to the top of the Facebook page there and click on the web edition and see all the great people in there, including a bunch of your other brothers there, Cliffy. They're in here all the time. Uh, I got to get a new picture with Cliffy with us because uh, Cliffy's not in that picture, but uh, I got to get a new one. They, they Here's some brothers that stand shoulder to shoulder, wall to wall with Cliffy. Oh, let's fold it out this way. I don't know if everybody can see that, but Cliffy should be in that picture. You know what, Cliffy? Since um, our uh, good friend is gone, unfortunately, the uh, uh, you could uh, fit in his place because I admire you as uh, as much as I would say if not more, but as much as Gunny. You know, you're a strong, virile, tall man. Gunny, what a great man in person, folks. What a great story about how Gunny got into the movies. And what a great man Gunny is. Just absolutely fantastic. Sorry to see him gone. <coughs> and if uh, any of you know what a challenge coin is, a lot of them may not know what a challenge coin is, but I have one of Gunny's uh, challenge coins. And I carried in my pocket. It's got his name on it. Arlie Ermy right on it. Travis Wallace, good morning, family. Good morning, Travis. How are you doing? And David says, uh, uh, going to subscribe. I need more. I send them to my uh, trucker friends in Poland. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. The uh, You know, I sent a whole case of them to Poland one time. I, I know a person that... Uh, would uh, actually send some, uh, this goes way back uh, to uh, uh, a lot of years ago, probably seven or eight years ago, uh, had sent some, donated some ambulances and that to Poland, had gone to an auction where they were selling off ambulances, and the ambulances were still good. They were just miling out, and they didn't want to hold them, and bought 10 ambulances and was sending them along with some other things, donating them to, to Poland and the Ukraine and, uh, and, uh, sent a whole bunch of my magazines, which is really cool. Shannon says, I donated meat, uh, yesterday and I think I'll bring the brisket with me to the peg. All right. We're going to have brisket. Travis is at the same coin that you, uh, Brooklyn got from you? Yes. Brooklyn has one of uh, my challenge coins. And uh, Brooklyn's got one. And uh, that one doesn't have my name on it, but it's got my association. And uh, with uh, with Gunny, now I'm I'm in PJs right now, folks. So I don't have my, my pants on. I ain't got no panties on. I don't have my pants on or I'd have my uh, challenge coins in my pocket. And I could pull it out and show you folks. Maybe remind me tonight because it is a Sunday night and we got to do a live video tonight. I know I'm going, probably going to the hospital tonight. Not myself, I hope, uh, but I'm probably going to the hospital because a friend of mine, a comrade, a brother is in the hospital. And Angie was saying that, uh, uh, we should go and visit uh, that brother of ours, um, uh, in the hospital. So, uh, the, um, they, we, I was actually going to, in Beaujolais, they're having a veterans uh, lunch or brunch today in Beaujolais I was supposed to go to. I'm not going to be going to that. I think it's at noon today, but he was going to be going with me. He's in the hospital, so I'm thinking of going and uh, visiting him in the hospital uh, today. 
Awesome. I'd love more for the Polish truckers. So I'll subscribe soon. Thank you very much. Polish truckers are absolutely fantastic. I know a lot of them that have come to Canada and are trucking and stuff. And uh, in Europe and the places they truck and the things and the traffic and the roads. Trust me, I have I have driven big trucks in uh, Europe. And you know what? I'll do a confession right now because I like to confess to my family here. Travis says, Dave, you're a good man and thanks for your service, brother. Thank you for saying that, Travis. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks for having my back, too, when people are spreading BS about me. We have to watch each other's backs, folks. We got to watch uh, when they're trying to uh, say BS about people. Frenchie says, what about the truckers? We want to, uh, what about the truckers? We want to have anything. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have anything. Without truckers, we'd have nothing because everything we got, a trucker brought. The only thing they don't deliver is a baby. Now, I know I was saying something, but it is a Sunday and it is spring ahead and uh, all this hasn't kicked in yet, so I don't think my brain's firing on all cylinders, but I was seeing something else and then I got... Um, thrown off. Travis says, I'll always have your back. I know I was talking about the veteran that's in the hospital right now. And uh, the uh, Nancy Hogman's there. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Where are you today? Hopefully you're safe. Uh, hopefully you didn't get caught in uh, any of that road yesterday. And Shannon Bowen says, about to tell a story about driving in Europe. Oh, yes. I was about to bust myself. I was driving a flat deck in Israel. And uh, actually, I have a friend of mine who's here in Winnipeg who came over as a, uh, as a uh, truck driver. I brought him over here and introduced him to his wife, in fact. Uh, uh, we'll have to tell the story. And he was in the deck. It was a cab over. I was driving a cab over, and the deck wasn't that long. I think it was only a 40-foot deck. But if you've ever been to the roads over there, they're terrible. And I had to make a corner in Israel. And and the corner from this street to this street, which was made for camels to go down or something like that. And I must admit, I rubbed the side of that deck. Good thing it was good solid steel deck. I rubbed the side of that deck down the building on the corner. Because the buildings come right out to the corners of the street. And I turned the corner and I went, you know what? There's no way to do this other than to push the deck over by using the building to move my trailer over. And, uh, I ran the, I ran the trailer down the side of the building. Yep. Uh, I come from BC a lot and I deliver mags for Dave. So keep some for you. Yes, you do, Courtney. Thank you so much. When you're Winnipeg, I'll get you a box. Travis is going snowman building. See you all later tonight. Love you all. Big hugs. Love you too. Uh, have fun building the snowman and make sure don't put the snowman, build it upside down. Cause when you put the carrot in the nose and, uh, and you, and the two eyeballs, if it's upside down, it looks like something different than a, than a snowman. <laughs> that was terrible. Terrible. And don't eat yellow snow, Travis. When you're out there, do not eat yellow snow. Listen to Brooklyn. She'll tell you, do not eat yellow snow. I know it looks like a snow cone, and you grew up in the days when there were snow cones, but trust me, you don't want to eat that. You know, the story about the flat deck in Israel is a funnier story when, um, when uh, the... Uh, um, I'm telling it in person. I had a buddy of mine over there that hit a couple of vehicles and he called the um, uh, UN police, uh, the military police who was there at the time. I thought it was lemonade, says Travis. I hear you. And they arrived and uh, he said he wanted to do a report. He was driving a UN vehicle and they turned to him and says, go, go, go. And he said, what? They said, have any local law enforcement showed up? He said, no, get out of here, go. And they took off and he told me about that later and says, he's never left the scene of an accident like that. I says, you're in Israel, you're in Israel. You gotta be careful, especially in the part of 
Gaza, where he was in, you get a couple of vehicles, you could get shot, you could be thrown in jail, you could be, it's a lot different than just filling out an insurance report. I would never uh, hit and run anywhere um, uh, unless if I had somebody who, you know, you ever have somebody you hate, like a banker who's turned you down for a mortgage? What you do is you you ask them for a couple of their cards. And if they say a couple of cards, yeah, you know, give me a couple of your cards. And uh, so they give you a couple of their cards and then you write on the back of it, sorry, I hit your car. And you keep it in your visor. And if you're ever in a Walmart parking lot or something, you see somebody hit a car and take off, take that uh, lawyer's or that banker's card and put it under the windshield of the car that got hit. <laughs> uh, bad advice and bad tips today. But uh, yeah, I asked uh, the, when I went to see the WCB doctor, uh, legend doctor, what a lying piece of garbage he was. I demanded credentials and everything else, found out, He's a, uh, he's a health specialist. Hey, it said doctor on the letter. You identified yourself as a doctor. That's impersonation. Boy, I'll tell you, did I ever chew his ass out? I imagine that WC report isn't going to be any good, but hey, WCB isn't paying me anyways. I'm not making one cent of money from WCB. They paying for my physio and this and that, but no cash in my pocket. Uh, Courtney says, I have snowmen for sale, a whole pile of them, assembly required. I hear that. And Frenchie says, that's a good one. Yeah, Frenchie. So I asked the WCB guy for his cards. And I just thought of that in the back of my mind when I asked him for his cards and he refused to give me and said, why do you need cards? I said, well, if you work here, you should have cards. And I want to see what it says on your cards, whether it says MD. And he says, what do you mean? I said, well, you're identifying yourself as a doctor. You're holding yourself out to me as a doctor. I want proof of that. You don't have a card. What do you have? And then, as I said, as I nailed him down, uh, he was saying he's a healthcare specialist. Then what the hell am I doing? And you're not going to look at me. I'm done with you. I said, you guys aren't paying me? Kiss my ass. Because I figure I'll deal with them when this is all over with. I don't need to go begging for money for scraps from them. And that's what I told them. Rennie says... Uh, have a great day and uh, have to go play and plow the neighbor today. You lucky duck. I saw those pictures of you plowing, Rennie, and I love, I love your, uh, your equipment there. I could sure use that equipment. Could you drive over to my place? I'll pay you $5 if you do my driveway because it's probably more fun for you with the equipment you have. That's really cool. I can never see you getting stuck, but could you imagine if I got the WCB doctor's, uh, um, card i definitely write on the back of it with a marker sorry i hit your car and took off and keep them up there and if i ever see hit and run and stuff like that run over put it under a windshield <laughs> teach you a lesson for impersonation you piece of garbage so on a better note i always got to end on a lighter note and a happy note maybe i should tell a joke or something should i tell a joke to end on it since i he started ranting and raving like a lunatic there. Let me see if I got a joke that I can read to you. To end it on a joke. To end it, end it on a ha-ha and a belly laugh. Let's see. So, whoop, what's this? No, let's go back here. Okay. Here we go. Are we ready, folks? Got to listen carefully. I'll talk slow because we did spring ahead. A cowboy who just moved to Montana from Texas, walks into a bar and orders three mugs of Bud. He sits in the back of the room, drinking a sip out of each one in turn. When he finishes then, he comes back to the bar and orders three more. The bartender approaches and tells the cowboy, oh, shoot, I ruined this. You know, a mug goes flat after I draw it. It would taste better if you bought one at a time. The cowboy replies, well, you see, I have two brothers. One lives in Arizona, the other's in Colorado. When we all left home, our home in Texas, we promised that we'd drink this way to remember the days when we drank together. So I'm drinking one beer for each of my brothers and one for myself. The bartender admits that this is a nice custom and leaves it there. And the cowboy becomes a regular in the bar, always drinks the same way 
every day. He orders three mugs and drinks them in turn. One day he comes in and he uh, only orders two mugs. And all the regulars take notice and fall silent. He comes back to the bar for a second round. The bartender says, I don't want to intrude on your grief, but I wanted to offer my condolences for your loss. The cowboy looks quite puzzled for a moment, and then a light dawns in his eyes and he laughs. Oh no, everyone's just fine, he explains. It's just my wife and I joined the Baptist church and I had to quit drinking. It hasn't affected my brothers though. <laughs> oh, did everybody get that? I had to quit drinking because I'm a member of the Baptist church, but it hasn't affected my brothers. Dennis Abbott says, good morning, Dave. Good morning, Dennis Abbott. And Shirley Allery says, good morning, Dave. Have a great day and take care. So hopefully that was a good joke to uh, get you going. Dennis liked it. And so did Dennis. A bot liked it too. And uh, take care. I do care. I really, really do care because it's not a punchline. When I say I would rather hear from you than about you live on Canadian Trucking Magazine, I'm not kidding. I would rather hear from you than about you. So if you're watching this later, if you're catching a replay, leave me a comment. I will read it. Shannon says, hey, Dave, did you see the barbecue air fryer that's up on the page? No, I'm going to take a look at that. Nancy Hogman was laughing. Thank you. And Kathy was laughing. Thank you so much. If I can make you laugh or smile every single day, you have made my day. Take care, everybody. I love you. And keep on trucking. Take care, everybody. See you soon. See you tonight. Maybe later this afternoon, I'll do another live with NG Baby.